Hello children, today we are going to solve exercise 4.2, question number 1. Solve the following fractions. I'm going to solve B, 7 by 10 minus 3 by 5. Write down the question again, 7 by 10 minus 3 by 5. For solving these questions, as we, uh, as we know already, and I told you already in the previous class, if their denominators are not same, then we need to find out their LCM. 5, 5, 10, 5, 1 is 5, 2, 2, 1 is 2, 1, LCM, 2, 2, 2, 5 are 10. Their LCM is 10, so we need to make their denominator 10 so it is already 10 then you just multiply with 1 minus 3 by 5 here 5 we need to make it 10 then you multiply with 2 same number should be multiplied at the numerator 7 1 or 7 10 1 or 10 minus 3 2 or 6 5 2 or 10 now their denominators are same then you just take common then uh, you can subtract their numerators equal to 1 by 10 now we finish solving question number 1b let me solve one more question number 1d here in this question all their denominators are same we don't need to find out the LCM if their denominators are same. We can do it directly. All their denominators are same. Then you just take common 19. Then subtract their numerators. 19, 11. Here, minus and a minus. Same symbol here. They have the same symbol if they have the same symbol it will be added 5 plus 3 is 8 they have the same symbol we will take up that symbol 11 minus 8 is how much 3 by 19 so here we finish solving D let me solve one more question. Question number three. What should be added to 9, 2 by 3 to get 19? What number we have to add to 9, 2 by 3 to get 19? So it should be like this, 9, 2 by 3. What numbers we have to add it here? Then the answer will become 19. So for finding out that one number, we will subtract this number from 19 19 minus 9 2 by 3 19 minus if they write in the mixed fractions at first you convert it before you start solving we will multiply these two 3 9 are 27 and we will add with the numerator plus 2 29 29 by here uh, there is no any denominators if there is no any denominator we have to know that there is denominator 1 for for our understanding better we write 1 then we will find out the LCM 1 and a 3 LCM will be 3 then we need to make their denominator 3 1 if we have to make it 3 multiply with 3 this one also same number should be multiplied to minus 29 by 3 it is already 3 so then you multiply with 1 3 19 into 3 how much 3 9 are 27 2 in hand 3 1 or 3 4 5 57 minus 
29 1 is 29 by 3 1 is 3 now their denominators are same we can subtract their numerators 3 57 minus 29 is how much 17 minus 9 is 7 8 1 is taken away 4 minus 2 is 2 28 so this one we will write in the mixed fractions because numerator is bigger than the denominator if the numerator is bigger than the denominators we have to write it in the mixed fraction then how to write in the mixed fraction 3 9 are 27 1 this 3 denominator it will be same this quotient we will write it here this remainder we will write on the top therefore 9 1 by 3 should be added Uh, look at here the one which I already solved today B the answer is 1 by 10 here in this case the numerator is smaller so if the numerator is smaller we don't need to can uh, sorry we don't need to convert into mixed fraction and even in D also the numerator is smaller so that's why we don't need to convert into mixed fraction here we have converted in question number 3 Today I have solved question number 1, B, D and question number 3. These three questions I solved it today. Whatever I have solved today, you copy down in your class bar notebook and you solve question number 1, A and C. Solve these two questions by yourself in your homework notebook.